Namaskar. Namaste. Welcome to yoga. Let's get centered for the practice. Taking Pratibhi Mudra, thumb and ring finger together. Other three fingers extend straight to activate root chakra. Muladhara, the shoulders up and curling back, turning gaze within, connecting to the breath and the inner space. To elevate mind and energy, Sekhachari Mudra, tip of the tongue to the soft palate, making an energetic connection from root chakra through the crown, and then establish the Loma Pranayama on your inhale. Inhale one third of the torso and pause for a second. Two thirds and pause. The full rest of the way with complete exhale. Keep it going for the next minute. When you draw the breath up, tone and lift the pelvic floor, engaging Mula Bandha. Release at the pause, and then re-engage with in-breath, releasing at the pause, re-engaging, a full release on exhale. Keep it going in sync with Mula Bandha to bring more awareness, sensitivity, and control to the action of root lock to revert descending prana and convert it into ascending life force energy. Set the hands for more chaprana Hands behind the hips and fingertips. Arch up. Take a deep breath in. Hold it in for a count of 20. Letting head rise back. Blessings, <clears throat> three ohms, one point of mantra, deep breath in. Shanti, 
presence of the one divine spirit that dwells within, we bow. Arise for this yoga, Atta Yoga, Stita, Stito, come to standing, feet at distance apart, bring down through big toes, looking spread outer toes, and drawn to the center, belly in, scoop tailbone, shoulders up and back, sliding jawbone back, it's the energy of the red resonant earth today. Earth elements found within the hips. We're going to do a bunch of hip openers to free up any blocked or stagnant energy. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach down, release some hands. Inhale, stretch up. So bring the freedom of the day. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen and curl. Exhale, step back into plank. Hold plank. Index finger leads the weight. Lean forward. Lower all the way down onto the belly. Clasp hands behind the back for Baddha Hasta Shalaba. Squeeze in, arch up. Bhujanga, hands beside the chest, underneath your elbows. Lift your rib cage up, shoulders up. Keep your shoulders lifting until you reach your peak and then curl them back. Slide jawbone back. Push down through the tops of the feet, pulling toes in towards the hips. Pulling hands back towards the hips. And then lower down. Push back. Downward facing dog. First dog. Stretch it out. Bend one knee at a time. Lengthen through calf muscles. Deepen victorious breath. Right foot up for a deep lunge. Right foot up to the front of the mat. Point foot out to the right, 45 degrees. Taking hand to the top of the thigh. Bend the knee, deep open heart, open throat, head back and curl. You can hold it here, take the arm behind the back, curling over the forearm to deepen the open. Reaching the hand for the elbow crease or fingertips for the floor. If you're going deep, you can rock in a goofy foot with your back leg, rocking towards the outer edge of the foot. Unwind onto forearms, Venara three. <clears throat> Push down through the ball of your left foot. Shift the hip way out to the left and then in rotate the top of the left thigh. Lean to the right, pushing top of the right thigh and hip down. Shift, inhale, widen and expand. Inner spiraling the top of the back leg. And then lean to the right, pushing thigh and hip down. The solidity of earth element is dissolved. It's eroded by connecting to the fluidity of water element. Stab back, take a vinyasa. Exhale down, inhale, rise up. Exhale, flow back, second side. Elixir of the moon, pointed out to the side, on the top of the thigh. Bend the knee deep, head back and curl. Top arm behind the back, deep and twist and opening. Rocking towards goofy foot, the back leg if you're going further. Four arms, on one, then our three. Push down to the ball, the right foot, shift out to the right. Widening hip, creating space. In rotate the top of the thigh and then lean to the left, pushing the thigh and hip down. Do it a few more times. Inhale, widening and expanding. Exhale, sinking into it. And then step back, vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, rise up for habujanga or mukha. Exhale, float back, down dog. Hold it. Five deep breaths. Tops of thighs inner rotating, rooting back. If your feet are flat, wiggle them back so you got something to strive for. Create more strength in the tops of the thighs. Pushing back strong. Mm -hmm. 
bend knees, gaze up, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Midline, root down, inhale, rise up. Exhale, pause to the chakras, crown, brow, throat, and heart, and gaze back again. Deep breath in. Exhale, root down. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, dot forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump, vinyasa. Down dog, five deep breaths. Keep legs strong, rooting back, arms light, arms and shoulders lifting and outer rotating. Pushing shoulder, pushing from energy from shoulders out through hands. Bent knees, gaze up, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow, pushing thigh bones back and apart. And squeeze into the center, root down, inhale, rise up, exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, step or jump, take the vinny, transition with your breath. Right foot up, side angle pose, Parsvakonasana, right arm on the inside for today. Pushing arm into the knee, knee into the arm, and then drop belly in. Holding Udiana, scoop tailbone, tailbone. Extending energy from the top of the hip to the back foot. And then left hand to the top of the hip, wrapping your three middle fingers over the hip bone to monitor Udiana. Keep your fingers pressing in, lower abdomen firm, and then slowly sink into it. Lowering right elbow towards the inner edge of the heel. You can use your block, placing your block down. Don't lose the action of Udiana. Keep lower abdomen firm, tailbone scooping. Holding abdominal and root lock. Amelia, we're going to get to that pose later. This one's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> Left hand to the hip. There you go. Since, since you're breaking your routine from Ashtanga, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> this is a hip opener day. These fingers wrap in right here so you can monitor Udiana. <laughs> so you can tell yourself, oh my God, I lost Udiana. My lower abdomen got relaxed. My belly protruded. I lost my focus and concentration. Step back. Take a vinyasa. <laughs> In Indian mythology... Ganesha, the elephant-headed god, represents earth element. Step it up. Elephants are heavy. They're solid, representing earth symbolically. Arm reaches. Ganesha's got two serpents like a belt wrapped around his big fat belly to keep it lifting to show he's always holding Udiana, even though he's overweight. <laughs> Hand to the hip. Wrap your three fingers over. Press in on your lower abdomen. So you can feel the tone of the lower abdominal muscles and then slowly sink into it for intense side angle. Uttana Parsva Konasana. Stay with the breath. Holding Udiana, Mula Bandha. Your serpentine belt. Deepening Ujjayi. If you had a long elephant trunk. Big elephant ears for listening to the quality of the breath. Back, take a vinyasa. Right leg lifts. Lean forward in a plank. Push your head up, index knuckles down, halfway down. Push back. Step it up, warrior one pose. Belly in, scoop tailbone. Take arms overhead. Channel energy up the leg, squeezing into the center. And then push leg bones apart, hips forward and down. Keep channeling energy with the breath. The inhale drawing in from the periphery to the core. From the core, pulsating out, taking it further. Mm. 
deep breath in, it's a release, vinyasa. Left leg lifts, plank, trianga, push back, step it up, rear badra. Now the inhale bone, take it overhead. Inhale, draw energy up and in from the ankles to the pelvis, from the pelvis, push energy out, curling deeper. Then exhale, release, vinyasa. Right leg lifts again. Plank, trianga, push back, step it up. There, Bhadra. Take it overhead, same thing. A few strong ujjayis. Channeling energy with the breath. Deep breath in, exhale, twist, elbow across, and then deep breath in, lift, hook shoulder over, hands in prayer, to the floor, or pass the wrist under and go for the bind. Inhale in one, step back, vinyasa. Leg lifts, plank, trianga, and then step it up. Square it off. Udiana, tighten your serpentine belt, scoop tailbone. Too strong, your jay. Deep breath in, exhale, twist. Another deep breath in, deep and twist. Prayer to the floor, wrap and bind. Inhale and wind. Step back, flow through. Right foot up, left knee down for intense warrior. Pausing for a moment, both hands to the thigh. Bend the right knee deep, hips forward and down, arms overhead, crossing thumbs, fingertips together, and then chin to the chest, top rib cage down and in, belly in, strengthen core, and then push down to the tops of your toe knuckles and straighten your back leg. Lift and hold it, pushing head back, few strong breaths. Exhale, release, vinyasa on toe knuckles. Second side, left foot up, right knee down, pausing, back foot flat. And the knee deep, hips forward and down. Arms overhead, chin to the chest, strengthen Udiana. tighten your lower abdomen, push down to the back foot, lift it up, lock it out, head back, make the breath intense. Exhale, release, vinyasa. Right foot up, side angle pose again. Right arm on the inside, left arm reaches. Just a couple breaths. And then bow forward, straighten right leg for triangle pose, so Tita Trikonasana. Keeping arm on the inside, left arm straight up. A few breaths. 
across here. Keep your legs strong, quadriceps lifting, kneecaps lifting, tops of the thigh bones pushing back. And then top hand back to the hip, wrapping three fingers over, slowly sink into it. Keep your lower abdomen firm, monitoring Uddiyana, slowly lowering elbow down towards the floor onto a block. As you go lower and deeper, build more muscle energy in the top of the leg. Reach the arm back up to the ceiling. A few more deep breaths. Exhale, release, bending forward legs, step back, take a vinyasa. Straight inside, side angle pose, left arm on the inside, right arm reaches for a few breaths. Forward, straight and left leg for a Tita Tricona. We scoop tailbone and twist, arm straight up. Top hand of the hip, wrapping three fingers over. Can lower abdomen tight, slowly lower down, building more strength in the top of the leg as you go deeper. Elbow to a block or to the floor. Reach arm straight up, a few more breaths. Just is there. Could be down, could be straight ahead, or it could be up towards your hand. Depends on how open it is for you. So for you, it could be right straight there to the side or up. And then bend your forward leg, step back, take a vinyasa. Arvind Chandra, half moon pose. Step it up. Leg parallel. Bend the top leg, knee to the chest, reach for the foot for Ardha Chandra Chapa. Rolling shoulder back, kick leg back, take your head straight back. Hard rid of Ardha Chandra. Left hand down, in rotate left leg, out rotate standing leg, take right arm up. Twist, look towards the floor, bend the top leg, reach for inner edge of the foot, kick your foot back, push your head up for standing one foot, bow. Keep left knee squeezing into the midline. Standing split, both hands down, lift left leg high. Handstand. You can kick up where you are. You can use the wall if you're at the edge, or you can do a forearm stand. Go for it, view, view. Side, left foot up. Half moon. Chop up, you going further, knee to the chest for sugar cane. Or 
Ready to arch under, top hand down, and rotate right leg, leveling off hips, pulling left thigh and hip back, take arms straight up. Untwist, look down, reach for inner edge of the foot. Kick back, push head straight up. Standing split, both hands down. Oh, Madamuka Vriksha, Pencha Meyer. Take it up or take it back. Right foot up for Bada Parsvakonasana or Raja Bada Parsvakonasana. Right arm underneath the leg. Or if you want to go deeper, clamp down through the outer edge of your back foot. Bend your right knee deep over the toes and then wrap across the front of the shin and then clasp behind the back. Bend your right knee deeper, Judy. You can wiggle your left foot in a little bit. Yeah. And yeah, so the right knee is at least lined over the toes. Or, mm -hmm. There you go. That's it. There you go. That's it. That's right. Kingly bound. Both hands down. No peasants around here, huh? <laughs> yeah, but work more. You see how you're sitting on your left leg a bit? Yeah, it's it back. Push down through the heel so your hip lifts up a little bit, and then work more tailbone and Udiana. And then you're good. <laughs> Koundinia, number two. Take it up, hold it for a few breaths, and then transfer into Gonda Barandasana if it's available. Left foot up. Bend the knee deep. And then wrap over. So this variation is said to unravel Brahma Granti, the psychic knot of the pelvic floor, which got, binds the Kundalini Shakti. So by keeping your feet active, pushing down strong, it creates more strength in the legs, more opening for the hips, so that you can untie the knot Create an uprising of energy and life force. Om Brahma Grati Bibbin and Yenamaha. Take it up. Ekapada Kaundinyasana. Upward facing goddess pose of destruction. Left foot up. Or Vikali. Angle heels in and your toes out. Push your knees apart. Sink into it. Pushing right knee away. Twist to the left. Push left knee away. Twist to the right. And then clasp elbows behind the back, squeeze belly in, rib cage in. Tighten, tighten your serpentine belt, pushing hips down, using strength of the core. And then take arms overhead for Kali Mudra, squeezing arms in. Toes forward, heels back, halfway forward for Shankara. Hands 
hands down, relax legs, length in, go wide and deep, forearms, forehead or the chin, clasping hands underneath for E position if you're in deep. Toe in, Bakasana. See, 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 mira, las manos. Bien hecho. Optional tripod headstand. <laughs> Lower back down, we're gonna do one more and then we rest. Ardabaka. <coughs> Forearms. Turning palms face up and then turn your palms down. Trap the knees over the outside of the arms and then lean forward and squeeze your feet into lift. Man. Never feels easy. And then child's pose. Puppy pose. Knees wide. Slide forward onto the chin and then chest, reaching palms face up. Relaxed here. And then push back, child's pose. stand or jump to Uttanasana, standing forward fold and return to mountain pose at the front of the mat. Nindra Hindaloasana, figure four, your right leg, right ankle on top of the knee. And your drishti, your gazing point. Lower halfway down. You can hold the heel and the knee. Or go for Ganesha Mudra, clasping hands across the front of the shin. Push out through your big toe, flexing foot. Push your head up, curling in the upper back, and then pick the leg up, keeping it tight to the chest. Pushing out through the big toe, pulling pinky toe back. Slowly lower down, arms over the leg, wrap your toes over the outside of the left arm, and then lean forward for Ekapada Galavasana. 
tap the floor with your left foot, attempting to lift it up and then extend it straight behind you. Hold it for five breaths. If you're still up, two position, bring your back leg up and over your forward foot, over the outside of the left arm and then extend the left leg forward. Vinyasa. Optional jumping up or jumping forward. Right ankle on top, left ankle on top. Halfway down, hold the heel and the knee or go for Ganesha Mudra, clasping. Push head up, curl the upper back, pick it up. Back down. Arms over, wrap toes over, outside the right arm. Sink into it, sliding foot back until it lifts. Kicking off strong with left leg. Step it up and over the foot for two position. Vinyasa. Child's pose. Flat on the belly, one arm auspicious pose. Right arm out, palm face up. Walk over, shift your hips in. Oops. Optional left ankle on top, optional lowering down for fire log leg. Switch. Bring right ankle underneath your left thigh. Just like we had it for figure forward. No, like um, reverse pigeon, child. See on my knees. There you go. That's it. Uh huh. We're going to do both sides, whatever. Just fold one leg in. Have <laughs> it underneath the thigh. It's just above the kneecap. And the toes are facing the back of the room. So it's like a reverse pigeon or a half fire log. Now bring the hands beside you and lift up for a cobra, keeping your knee pushing down. Lift up out of the hips and slowly let the hips sink down and you can twist a little to the opposite side away from the bent leg. And then lower down, switch. 
push down to the knee, lift up. Lift up all the way, and then you can slowly bend the elbows and let the hips sink down so that you can juice the hip opener and slowly twist and lean out of it so you can get into the hip flexor of your leg that's bent. And then lower down, push back, child's pose. Pigeon pose. Right knee up wide. So left leg in and back. Square it off. Lift and curl. And then reach for the back foot for a quad stretch. Mermaid pose. Or you can strap it, grab it, and take it over head for full king pigeon pose. Optional vinyasa and switch, or just casually switch. Long stretch first, and then uh, skin here, full X pot of Roger. Vinyasa, I just come to sitting for Agni Stambhasana. Red ankle on top. Push the knee away, arch up, twist and lean back out of it. Start to fold forward, resting over the leg. Switch. Push the 
knee away. Arch up, twist and lean back. And then fold forward over the foot, moving towards the center. Ardhamatsi and Drasana, half fish pose. Right leg over. Arch up, lengthen, twist, tucking your arm across. Rise up through the crown of the head, deep and twist. You can reach for the heel, for the knee, or past the wrist and go for the clasp. toes and fold up, fold forward or work the shoulder opener, in a rotating right arm, out rotate left arm, go for the clasp or use your strap or towel and fold forward pulling up on the bottom arm. Fish first. Staying with the breath. You can inhale and twist slightly. Exhale deep and twist. Go Muka, go foot across, knee across. Big toes or work shoulder opener, in a rotating left arm, bring it into the back. Right arm out rotates, it goes overhead. Denny. I'll take it into Upavishta Konasana. Seated wide angle. 
Dipping off to the side. Sitting bones and hamstrings. Manually inner spiraling each leg. And quads in and hamstrings out. And then activate the legs, pulling toes back. Squeeze leg muscles in tight and slowly fold forward. Building more strength in the tops of the thighs, pushing down as you go lower and deeper. Start to bow or twist over a right leg. Now up and switch. Back to center for Bhunamananasana, saluting Mother Earth. Oh, yeah. This one's for Amelia. <laughs> you'll see where we're going, and then you'll understand. <laughs> Clasp, shoulder blades on the back. Your legs bend up deep to eliminate hamstrings, so it's all in the hips here. And then fold forward, pushing your head up, lifting your arms up for a few breaths. And then Kurmasana, slide your arms underneath the knees, legs in a little tighter. Get them up as high as you can towards the shoulders and then slowly flex your feet and extend the legs all the way straight, taking your chest down. If it goes all the way down, push down through the legs and lift your feet off the floor. Nice. Hold that for a few breaths and then you can reach your hands around your lower back and clasp hands for Baba. Supta Baddha Kurmasana, clasping hands overhead, feet overhead. It's painful on the floor like that. <laughs> Can your you? Head down. Bend your legs. No, no, bend here. Bend, 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 bend. Relax. Tranquila. No. <laughs> There you go, Vicky did it for everybody. Oh, and Judy got it. Nice, Judy. Now lift for an arm bounce, Judy. Take your um, hands down and lift. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now you do it. Now you take your hands flat. Thank you for doing for me. Now lift up for an arm bounce. Push and lift. Oh. Next time. Nice, Amelia got it. It's contagious. You see? Now you understand, Amelia. That's what I said. <laughs> Yoga teacher. Here we go, Badakona. You want it too? I can't even lift. <laughs> Badakona. Oh. Arch up. Pull up on the feet. Slowly fold forward. Pushing elbows down.
next round's bonus round for Vicky, Amelia, Judy, Chachi. If you want to try it, you can flex your feet for Mula Bandhasana. Lift your heels up. Lift your hips up and then rock all the way over and sit on the backs of your feet with your heels pointing straight ahead and your feet pointing to the back of the room. Like that. And then you work on sitting down on the heels. You can bring hands in prayer position. There you go. And then knees to the side more. There you, there you go. And try and, and try and keep the and you try and keep the heels forward, like they're in front of the pubic bone. Yeah, slightly, because they're gonna they're gonna want to slide back. So you try and keep it. That's yeah. That's good enough. Yep. That's it. Yep. There you go. And then when you're ready, optional vinyasa. We'll just come onto your back and rock around a little. Massive hip opener, so if you don't feel anything in Baddha Konasana, then you work Mula Bandhasana. <laughs> Come on in the back and rock around a little side to side. side of the body. 13 good ones. Lifting legs up, hips up, squeezing in to the core at the peak, straightening out as much as possible, and then lower down without touching and repeat. Banda Sharbanga. You can use your plot for Shalamba if you want to use it, placing a block underneath the sacrum. Good one. 
back bend push-ups or alternate leg lifting. Nataraja, Nataraja, Nartana Sundara, Nataraja, Shiva Raja, Shiva Raja. Do you want to use a belt today? It's there, or you can use your paper towel. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Everybody got a belt? Boom. Strap your foot. Making a loop or just hold it like a jump rope. And swing your arms overhead. Either way. Yeah. Midline, inner thighs engage first, and then belly in, scoop tailbone, kick back into the strap, and then push your hands up. Start to walk your hands down the strap, tilting forward, curling in the heart space, and then kicking back so the spine moves forward. Arms and shoulders push up. We'll do each side twice. Hold it five or ten breaths, and then switch. Doctor's fire, serpentine belt, tailbone, add muscle energy, kicking back, pushing hands up. First side again when you're ready. Dropbacks are optional if you need more back bends in your life. <laughs> Otherwise, you can take it into shoulder stance. What is the farthest that I'm not too much can, can go? Just, yeah. Well, for you, I would probably imagine doing it with the splits or straightening the leg. And so your arms are extending up and the legs reach pointing straight up towards the ceiling. There you go, just like that. <laughs> just like that. Hold it for the gram. Thank you. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. That is the contortion. Oh, right. This is arm straight, yeah, yeah. You gotta do the other side. Drop backs when you're ready. You can use the wall, you can use the crash, crash pad.
Of that pose? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I haven't showed you. No. I haven't showed you. Magic number seven if you're cranking that drop axe. Seven drop Mm-hmm. Or one. Either way. That was good. <laughs> you didn't lose it. You just need a little midline action. All right, Scandaloso, shoulder stand. Plow pose, five breaths, ear pressure pose. Eye of the needle pose. Let me finish up your shoulder stand series, feet on the floor. And across left ankle on top of the right thigh. Eye of the needle, Suchin Rundra. Kicking away, arching your lower back to clear hip flexors. And then pull it in tight. Straightening leg, reaching up higher. Take it overhead. Switch. Resist. Marching. Round lower back, bring it in tight. Reaching for the foot. The Ganesha sauna, supine Ganesha's pose. Legs are in like in Kali position. Mm -hmm. 
legs bent at 90 degree angles, thighs parallel, shins parallel with each other, arch your lower back and then push or pull your knees towards the floor. Left foot down, take hold of the right foot. Pushing right knee down, bringing the arm over. Foot to the head or behind the head for Supta Bhairava.
stretch out with the breath, making subtle movements. Right arms along over your head, stretching out the deep inhale. Universal prayer for happiness and freedom. Deep breath in. Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Wonderful rest of your weekend.